Hello guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to another episode of Balram. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. Thanks so much for all the amazing support on the Balram series, guys. As always, if you do enjoy the videos, make sure to give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. So here we are in the new village of Kyler. We haven't explored anything yet, but I did want to go straight to Kyler if I could, which I saw him when I was on the way in here. I do not know if there's going to be an easy way there. Uh, from the looks of it, I might have to go around the sides and stuff. Because it was a little bit difficult to get to him from the looks of where I was at earlier. Uh, let's see here. Nope. <laughs> that didn't help anything. Alright, it doesn't let me go there. Let's talk to this guard. I see a large man in old rusty plate armor guarding the entrance to the village elders. He looks like he is about to fall over and sleep right here in the mud. I need to talk to your leader. You are not one of us. Who are you? I'm from the other village. Another infidel from Arlo's pack? What do you want with Kyler? Something horrible is happening to our village. Wilson, Arlo's henchman, told me that Kyler should be able to shed some light on things that have happened. Innocent lives are in danger. I hear you, boy, and I believe you. Trying to help others is always a noble thing, but I cannot let you through until I know for sure you can be trusted. How can I prove that I'm trustworthy? Well, the other day I was off duty. I went exploring the old village. I thought it might find something of value. Instead of finding something that I could sell for a good price, I lost my family ring. I was almost in the middle of the ruins when a giant spiders attacked me. When giant spiders attacked me, I mean... There were many of them that I fought myself through a few of them and managed to escape. Only when it was too late that I realized that I'd lost my ring. It must still be there somewhere. The ring has been in my family for many generations, passed down. Oh. Alright, sorry to break the immersion like that. That was the real Hanna Bear in real life letting me know that I had a package at the door. So, um, where were we? Let's see. The ring has been in my family for many generations, passed down from father to son. It's not a valuable ring, but it's to me, it is so important. My hand is strangely cold without it. No one will help me retrieve it. Maybe you could find it. If you bring it back to me, I will let you in. We don't have time for this. Fine, if you won't help me, then I can't help you either. You leave me no choice. I will try to find your ring, but if this diversion caused people's lives, you are to blame. There's no need to hurry. I marked your map. Oh, then you need to hurry. <laughs> my bad. All right. So he marks my map with it. Uh, where is it? Uh huh. So we won't be able to see where it is, basically. He marked our map, but it doesn't say that. I don't know if it's going to be here or here or, or what. But I imagine it's going to be at one of these locations that's already marked. We just probably aren't close enough to tell whether or not it's there. Hmm. Well, I guess we can go southwest and kind of find out. Let's see if we can get our armor repaired here. There should be a blacksmith uh, somewhere around. Uh, namely, our, our bow that we need to repair here. Let's see. This looks like an old shrine. There's some weapons and armor. Edgar. Hmm. Well, that looks like some sort of locked door, too. Okay, let's go in. Mary is the wife of Edgar. Grandpa told me they're the wealthiest family in the woods. Edgar must be an important person in the outside world before we enter the woods. Lily is their only child. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Do you need anything? I'm looking for work. As a matter of fact, yes. I do need help. A few days we'll be celebrating my husband's birthday. Edgar collects everything but his passion for art is the strongest of all every year he surprises me with something great this year i want to get him something fabulous he loves statues and has always complained that he doesn't have the statue of an animal yet could you find me a statue of an animal i'll find the statue thank you i would <laughs> he would be so happy all right well uh i got a quest let's see can i go in here yeah edgar i can't even talk to edgar yet uh-huh. All right. I guess I will, uh, I will just not go there. All right, this is a, this might be a forge. Maybe. I see an alchemy table in here. Hello, good sir. 
No one knows Buck. He lives among the people but never talks to anyone. I don't know him, but I have a feeling that he is bad news. Can I help you with anything? What is this horrible smell? Get out! Alright. I'm out. <laughs> Sorry, Buck. <sighs> okay. There's an anvil in here. This must be a good spot here. Let's see what... Oh, yeah. He's mining. He knows what's up. He was the blacksmith in College Village. He's a good friend of Aaron. Sometimes they meet for a drink, and every once in a while, while even work, they even work together. He was always experimenting with something. Usually his experiments turn out really bad. Uh, let's see. I need you to repair my items. Uh, where is the bow? Tense bow. Repair. Very good. All right. Let's also check out some of the items that I did have on me at first. Okay, frog tongue belt, rusty greaves, there was some gloves that I need too, the mist hide armor, and the amulet of minor cold protection along with the helmet. Okay, so let's check out, can you repair my items? I need you to repair, well, the shovel too, we should probably repair that. Okay, white hat, I had on, it, it modifies vitality, but it modifies armor as well. Let's see. Leather shoes, I think I had leather shoes on it first as well. Uh, modifies armor by three, hardened leather belt, rusty gloves is what I had on. Repair those. Okay. Rusty helmet also had that. Mist hide armor, frog tongue belt, rusty greaves. Is that something that, uh, aha, uh -huh. it was part of the set. Apparently, I didn't have that on anymore. Um, Rusty Sword is not part of the set, although I should, what am I fighting with here? Uh, it's a Rusty Sword, I should probably just, uh, get him repaired. Were you? Thank you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Rusty Sword, repair. Rusty Sword, I'll repair both of them, I'll end up selling them, like, anyway. Most probably. All right, now let's see what you have as t in terms of merchandise here. Looks like you just have some ore and stuff. Uh, antique hammer, countless years worth a hundred dollar. I don't know. Oh, okay. Antique hammer is for building, I guess. Maybe it can build some specifically better stuff than what I already have. I don't know. They sell a lot of nails over here, which is good. Aside from that, I don't I don't see anything that's really really worth uh, me even worried about here. Uh, I can sell a lot of these stuff. Pirate boots modifies armor by four. Dexterity. Okay, let's put all of the helmets and stuff on that I need. Um, armor. Okay, not the chain cap. Not paladins. Rusty rusty helmet. Make sure our set bonus is intact. Uh, let's see, we had leather shoes that were on as well, and there was something else we had. Rusty Greaves, maybe? Requires six base dexterity. Yeah, this is pretty good because this modifies strength by two, modifies dodge chance by one, modifies armor by nine, but the rusted... Wait, we had some Rusty Greaves that helped us quite a bit too. Rusty Gloves... Or do we already have... Yeah, the Rusty Greaves are already on. It modifies armor by 7. Yeah, that's definitely better to keep the set items intact, I do believe. Uh, the Cook's Robes gives me fire resistance. I think the Mist Hide Armor is the best uh, bet right now. Brooch of Negligence. It doesn't allow us to equip this or anything. I don't know where this would go. Maybe it's like some sort of slot. Increases physical damage, but decreases avoidance. Stackable. We're 200. Oh, it just right click to use. Um, oh, you can use it. Oh, it's an item that you can just use. Ah, I got you. That's interesting. Okay, let's um, let's actually put that on the hot bar somewhere. Random teleportation potion, wolf's reflexes potion, summon. Let's go ahead and put summon away. And I guess what I'm going to do, let's move this over by one. I guess we'll put that brooch on the hot bar. 
So I don't know what else I would I would use it for. I mean, it's like an active deal. And that buff is... It doesn't show as a buff up here. Huh. I don't know. But it's dark as heck right now. <laughs> so let's head to the house quickly. I don't really need my torch just to get to my, uh, my bed. I know where to sleep. Morning. <laughs> All right. Let's start this day off with a po' boy, as usual. And we'll get some dranky drank, too. Um. Why are they in weapons? I'll, I'll figure that out one day. Okay. So... Let's refill the water. Man, the wheat's all grown again. That fertilization, though, right? Ka! All right. I know I did this last time, but I have a feeling, guys, that I, I should just harvest these. I wish I could harvest them a little bit faster. They're all grown, though. Okay. Just to make sure I have enough, you know? I know I'm going to have enough seeds. Good lord. We get like three seeds every time. Okay. And all I'll need to do is plant these and water these again. Oh, no. Water. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but I can again. All right. Harvest. Yeah. These, it, it happens pretty fast, man. Like, it grows really, really quick. Okay. And we'll go with one more round of wheat here. Alright. Okay. Everything's planted up. We're only water because the fertility is probably fine. The fertility is good. They grow whether or not they're fertile. Water and water. They just grow a lot slower when the fertility is bad, I think. Okay. And this will be it. I'm sorry to put you guys through this again. I just want to make sure we got enough po' boys on deck, you know? Alright. Very good. Let's get... Let's refill our water up. And we can go back to where we were now. Also, Hans is not with us. Hanna Bear is not with us, but I'm in town, so it should be fine. Uh, who is this? Birmingham. Could you paint me a Birmingham? That's a good song. Uh, oh, Birmingham. Bingham. <laughs> what kind of a name is Bingham? Birmingham sounds better. Okay. <laughs> Bingham is a young man who lives alone in his big house. He is one of the strongest men in the village because his job is to chop up firewood. Although we are a similar age, we have never really liked each other. Um, he can increase carpentry. Would like to learn a new recipes. Uh, he teaches about that. Okay. I'm here to look at your inventory. That sounds, that sounds so personal, man. Get out of this guy's space. Thank Adkus. Yes, I need help in a personal matter. What kind of matter? Do you know Elfrida, the beautiful woman who makes the best soup in the village? I met her once, but I can say I know her more deeply. But I can't say I know her more deeply. Oh, she is a wonderful human being. You are missing out. You should get to know her better. Now, back to my problem. I've been in love with her since the day I first laid eyes on her. Needless to say, I'm really shy when it comes to women. I can't... <laughs> I want her to know how I feel. Could you be my messenger? Of course. What is your message? Tell her that I think she is the most beautiful being in the whole of Balram. Can you tell her that? Would you do that for me? Is it a bad idea? You need to start somehow. I'll give her your message. Bingham. <laughs> Isn't she a little old for you? Old nonsense. Thank you for doing this. I'm so excited. Oh, boy. All right. I cannot believe Bingham. I think she would like you better if your name was Birmingham, by the way, bruh. That's just me. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. This looks like a church of some sort. Father Hain. See an old priest in dirty white robes. He smells of booze and his fans are shaking. His church is much better state than he is. I'm seeking the blessing of the gods. Wow. 
Divine beings cost a thousand dollar. I need curing removes one debuff. I'm seeking your cleansing powers to cure me removes two debuffs. I need curing removes three debuffs. Wow. Um, I don't think that I'm going to do any of that right now. Divine cost a thousand. That would probably be something good but i don't know maybe if you guys know a little bit more about that y'all could tell me what they do in the comments section below uh what are these jed basil these people are named after like fruits and vegetables simon and flint huh uh okay we might as well just open up here i really wish that somebody maybe we should start doing some of these quests to get a little bit of experience Cause man, I want to train in strength. Okay, uh, can we can we talk to you? No, it doesn't look like it. No, nope, you won't talk, Rupert. Rupert, isn't that like um, if anybody watches Family Guy, that's Stewie's uh, Stewie's pet, his doll or something like that. Rupert. Okay. Jed, the workers here have seemed to have been working day and night. Most of them must be well over their 40th birthday. All of them have large, dirty hands, and they all look tired. The man who is overseeing them is Gosfred. People say Gosfred works them really hard, although he never worked a single day in his life. Greetings, I'm looking for work. Do you have? Uh, do you need some help? Uh, he increases carpentry too. We're always looking for help. That merciless... <laughs> Gosford works us too hard every day. If something breaks down, we run and fix it. And if all is quiet, we need to work on the fields or chop down wood or mine stone all day long. We can never rest, just like before Darkwood. He was our boss outside, and he is our boss now in the woods too. We thought that we might get another chance in Darkwood, but no. How can I help? In the beginning, the work was not that hard. I mean, we were used to it. But now, years later, we're getting old. We simply cannot do the same amount of work like 10 years ago. If you are really looking for something to do, you could try to convince Gosford that we have to work less and rest more. We cannot promise anything of value for your time. Only sincere thanks. Uh, I will try to speak to Gosford. Okay. Well, we definitely don't want to increase our skill in carpentry. All right. Basil. Same thing. Is this Gosford? No, that's Simon. Gosford is probably in the large house up here. Yeah, that's him. Let's see what he says. Oh, Gosford. Gosford coordinates the workers in Collar Village. People say that he works them like animals. I think your workers need more rest. They look rather exhausted. How do you know? Did they complain about my methods? No, I simply saw them on the fields, and I think they're really tired. What do you think I should do? I think that if you give them more time to rest, then eventually the quality of their work will improve. That way you can maximize their work at the same time as look good in their eyes. You might be right. Lately they've become more distant and I can hear that they are talking about me under their breath. I'll cut down their working hours a little. Gosford coordinate. Okay. Well, I, here we go. That's pretty good. What have you got for sale? Oh, look at the arrows. Hello, baby. I am going to buy a ton of these arrows. A ton. Okay. That's pretty darn good. Uh, also, I need to buy lockpicks. Man. Uh, Alright, I'm going to need to sell some stuff. Okay, let's see. So, all of this shadow stuff... Some of this stuff is pretty decent, but some of it is like for mages and stuff. So, I'm going to sell a good bit of it here. Sell... Black Waste Guard, requires base strength of three. Let's sell it. There's another one right here. Shadow Hat. I bet it looks dapper, but we really don't need to worry about that now, do we? This modifies dex by one. I'm going to keep that. Anything that gives me dex is pretty good. Paladin's Helmet, Chain Cap. This is going to be forever until I could wear that thing. Modifies Vitality, minus one. Modifies dex by two. What is this? Modifies normal by seven. Okay, the chain cap is pretty good too. I think I'm gonna sell this paladin's hat. Yeah, cause it's gonna be a little while before we could get four strength. Okay, we can always come back and buy these items if we have to too. They'll always stay on the same people. But 
Rusted chain leggings, we can sell that. Uh, rusty gloves. Why don't I have these equipped? Rusty glove. Oh, I have two sets of rusty gloves? Uh, okay. Weird. Uh, let's see. Iron breastplate is worth... I mean, the armor value is very good. Cold gauntlets, we'll do that just in case we... I like the fact that we can protect ourselves against specific things. I'm not... I'm, I'm going to remove that. I'm not going to do that. Um, we can sell the extra rusty gloves. We can sell the worn chain vest. Although, the armor rating on it is decent. Huh. I'll tell you what. Let's just keep that for now. And I like those fur pants as well. We could sell the chain waist guard. I'm going to keep the crimson pants. Plate gauntlets. Modify strength by one. Wildwood leggings. Modifies dexterity by one. Modifies armor by 16. This is five base strength. Good lord, man. Uh, and hardened leather belt. I think I could sell that too. Okay, I've got 612 left. Let's take a look at weapons here. Mostly stuff that I don't want to get rid of. I can get rid of simple traps. Although, maybe I shouldn't because I could also use those for taming. Well, right? I can. Uh, fire traps. Arrows, I want to keep all of that. Okay. We have... How many rusty swords do we have here? I'm going to keep the fine sword as well. Maybe I should keep all of this stuff. Tense bow. Also need to equip that bow too. Okay. We might need to mine a little bit to sell, you guys. We might need to do that. Uh, let's see here. Where's the tense bow? Yeah. Get back in your rightful spot, man. I also need the durable woodcutter's axe. I need to repair that. Durable woodcutter's axe. Let's repair that. And the durable pickaxe. And the woodcutter's axe. Alright. So. What's next, man? So the only thing... Now he's full. Now all we can do is buy stuff from him, really. Um... I think I just want to buy a few lockpicks from him. I'm going to buy 12. All right. That way we can continue to open chest and stuff. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that interruption again. It just seems to be the day of interruptions. All right. I need a few supplies. So now that we're, we're pretty darn broke. But, I mean, aside from the fire arrows, I got almost everything I want from this guy. I should maybe do a little bit of mining to get some more iron ore and ingots. Maybe I could sell those. To, I mean, the supply of that stuff is almost infinite. So I think it would be pretty darn good. Uh, as far as the quest is concerned, let's see. I have quite a few quests going on here. Mary told me she's looking for a statue of an animal, her husband, I wonder where the foul smell is in Buck's house, Birmingham is in love with Elfrida, but is too shy, okay, so, it looks like we're running a little bit short on time to do that much more, so I guess I'm going to experiment and have some fun here, okay, so let's see what we can do, this is where the blacksmith is, uh, the wife is still in the house, Vina, so we can't we can't get in here and look around too much. Although, aside from that one chest, there's probably not a whole bunch to do. We'll watch her and just see if she gets out. Let's save too, shall we? <laughs> Let's do some saving. We got some some significant progress made this round. Let's see. That chest looks like it's open. To find. I don't see anybody else here. Let's quickly check it out, shall we? Okay. Oh, durable woodcutter's axe. Woodcutter's axe and some splints. A preparation scroll. A forget crime scroll. Some food, maybe? Uh-huh. Bread, coffee, honey. Very good. A kitchen knife. 
Wow, man. I'm racked up right here. It's all stuff that I could sell. I can't help but think the game is like a rotten block of cheese. No, no, no. Uh. Huh. I just closed it. <laughs> it came in. It's only some cider. We didn't need it that bad. All right. How about this? No more space in my inventory. What? Oh, no, no, no. We gotta fix that. Um, what can we, what can we get rid of here? Hold on. All right. I have an idea. I has an idea. Let's dump out some stuff here. Weed's growing up really nice. Okay. Let's move a bunch of this stuff. If I right click, will it just go? No, it sure won't. All right, we've got wood already. Are we gonna have a lot of wood? Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll keep that. The iron bars, let's put, uh, didn't we have some stuff with topazes and gems already? Uh, no, but we had spots for all of the ore that we had. And also a few of the other things here. Iron bars, spotless metal bars. I think I had a place for gemstones as well. I'm pretty sure I had a space for gemstones. Okay. Got a lot of ore here. I wish you can just left shift. No, you can't. You can't shift click. I wish you could. Okay. Uh, diamonds. Emerald. Daltium. And... I have some more stone here. Alright, that opens up a little bit of space for me. Not that it's a whole bunch, but... We got bones and bone shards as well. Let's see, bear tooth? No. Wolf tooth? No. Bones, we have some of those. Regular bones. Skulls. Fragments. Broken bones. I don't know what we need all this stuff for, you guys, but I can't help it but to think that we should keep them for something. And last but not least is this empty thing over here. Let's see. Alchemy, those ingredients. Other than that, maybe we should just put in some more of this. Let's let's just put in some of this stuff. Frog sack. I don't know. I don't know what I should keep some of this for or what I should throw away. Pearls. Spider eyes. Frog poison sacks. Topaz. Okay. You know what? I'll keep the lard on me and I'll put this stone up. I don't know if I could even sell stone. But maybe I can. I don't know. I'll try next time I hit somebody up. Alright. So now we have space. Should be able to check this out. We'll take the wood. Yeah, that's quite a bit of resources there. Okay. Going back in for the cider right quick. <laughs> Wait, I didn't check the stove, huh? Oven. Yeah, he didn't have anything in there. Alright. Anything in there? Oh, I stole that wood too. Holy cow. I'm swiping everything. Can I go in here? I can. What happened? Did I just, just use the restroom right quick? I guess I did. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. So this is Buck, right? Buck, I'm really curious on what's going on, man. I really want to know what you got up in here. We could do a forget crime scroll, probably. He doesn't have any levers or anything in here, does he? I don't guess. There's traps in there and all kind of stuff. I wonder how we can get in there. Okay, let's do this. Let's go around the back here and search some of the outside things. A nightly shovel, holy cow, that's good loot. Okay, burnt human meat? Oh no, Buck. Buck, you're a cannibal, Buck? 
I cannot believe. Buck is a cannibal. That's what that horrible smell is. He eats people. All right. Well, I tell you what. I don't know how to really figure out what's going on in this place. I don't guess he's ever going to go into that other room. We do have a forget crime scroll. Let's see here. Override the file. Uh, Buck's secret potion. Splint and a saw. Gotta be careful what I'm taking over here because he could see. Healer. Rotten carrots, knife. Uh-huh. We know. I'll tell you what. Can I kill him? Just out of curiosity. What? What's happening to me? Oh, I'm stunned. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't kill this dude. <laughs> Not even close, man. And he's going to keep stunning me, too. Wow. And now I'm bleeding. All right, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. So we can't do anything with Buck right now. We can't do anything with Buck. I'm not going to worry about Buck, I guess. I don't know what else to do in here, though. I guess I'm going to have to go do some questing, but that's going to have to wait till next episode, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to give me some tap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uldan signing off, and we'll see you next time. Bye.